Hey YouTube, how's it going? How are you guys doing? If this is your first time checking out Trula Divine's channel, what is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. It's definitely a great message to say the least for you guys today. So let's just get started. Let's dig into this. Oracle card to start off your guys' reading is talking about courage today. So it says, divine courage is not the absence of fear, but a nudge that says, keep going. Do it. Don't worry. All will be well. You have to get quiet enough to hear it. Dear Divine, may I feel your courage and you will. So have courage to you guys. You know, the 2nd of April, new month, new beginning, new goals. You know, go for whatever it is that you guys really want this month. You know, you can only make your life as good as you want it. And that's kind of what I'm feeling is that whatever you've been holding off, now is the time to go and do it. So with that, we are moving into your reading. Your reading starts off with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is talking about you guys really need to move forward with something. So I feel like this is realizing that what you guys are going into is going to be so much calmer than what you're leaving behind. If you recently left a relationship, I feel like what you're going to go into in your next relationship, it's going to be mind blown. Um, it's going to be calm. It's going to be peaceful. It's going to be loving. It's going to be just what you're not used to and it, it's going to blow your mind, um, which is fantastic, right? Like, come on. You have to realize that you're still going to have people who are watching you um, as you go through this next chapter and as you go through this next journey. And I feel like that is what the frog is doing. You know, the frog is watching her as she's leaving. And I feel like as you evolve into this new person that you guys are meant to be, you're going to have people and those people aren't always going to agree with your decisions, but you got to understand that it's not their decision and it's not their journey to make. You have to do what makes you happy and you have to go forward and go into this calm calmness. Like it's just like this sign of relief. Like it's, you're no longer worried about the past or what has happened in the past because you know that you can't take that anymore. You've got to cut that cord. You have to cut the dead weight. If someone is keeping you stuck in that energy of not being able to move forward, you need to cut that cord and let them go because it's all about calmness now. It's all about you. It's all about taking care of you. It's all about loving yourself. It's all about moving forward, chasing your dreams, going after your goals, doing whatever you guys need to do. Get yourself back 100%. That's what you guys need to do. So keep moving forward today. Even when the world feels like it's against you, I feel like that is what the message is, is that you guys just have to do. You have to keep moving forward. I know it can be tough, but always remember tomorrow's a new day. The eight of wands coming up. I feel like someone is falling in love, which is amazing. Um, definitely a new love romance coming through this air. So this could be for anyone. Fire sign I'm looking at, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be you. Um, definitely love coming through. So if you just got a relationship and you're not ready for new love, don't worry about it. Spirit's just gradually bringing someone new into your life to show you what you've been missing. That's kind of what I'm feeling like. Um, this is also some good news coming around. But again, I feel like it's this calmness. This is a relief. You know, this is good. You guys have so many reasons right now to be happy. There's so much coming around that bench. You guys don't even know. It's going to be fast, too. We have the night. Night of Cups. This, this energy that's coming through, I had this the other day, too. This energy, this new love relationship, this new friendship, this new job something is coming really fast in for you guys and it's going to be mind blowing. It's going to be like, Oh my God, like I've been waiting for this for like ever and it's finally here and I don't know what to do with it. That's kind of the, like the attitude that I'm picking up. Like, Oh my God, you know, what am I going to do with this? Like it, it's coming through. Am I ready for this? Like, this person wants to love me like me. They want to love me. Don't they know that I'm crazy? Like that's kind of what I'm picking up, right? Like, do they, do they know that I'm crazy? Like, spirit says they don't care. Like, they're coming for you. Could be someone you know. Could be someone you don't know. But protect yourself, right? We have the Queen of Pentacles coming up. Protect yourself. You know, just because someone says they have good intentions for you doesn't mean they actually do. So I feel like don't throw yourself in another relationship if you just got out of one. And if you've been single for a while and you know you're ready, still protect yourself because you don't know. Um... 
you have to realize you are important, right? And your, your wants and needs definitely need to come and be heard. You need to come first as well. King of Swords. Someone is waiting on some type of communication. Sometime, sometime. Some, someone is waiting, you know, for a sign of some sort. Um, if you've been crushing on someone and you're waiting on how they feel, I feel like they're just all up in their head right now. Could be you all up in your head too. But I think coming April, there's going to be a lot of new love coming through. But yeah, this person, whoever you're dealing with, they're really up in their head right now. There's either little to no communication or there's like absolutely none. Like you send them a text message and it's like, hey, how are you? And they're like, hey, I'm good. And then like you literally don't hear from them or it's like, hey, how are you? And then they, it's like they ghost you, right? That's what Spirit just said. Like they ghost you. It's like, what the hell? Or they, they get you going for like a couple days or a couple weeks or a couple months or something, guys. And then it's all of a sudden like it's you don't hear anything. And it's like, what the hell, right? They're just all up in their head right now. They're not sure how to take this chemistry with you. But take a risk. Listen to your intuition at this time. But I feel like with the Fool card coming up right now, this is realizing that you have to go at the things that you guys really want. You have to go at the things that, you know, really speak to you. So I feel like anything is possible right now, especially for my singles. But remember who you are. You know, remember your worth, remember your value, your queen bee, you know, you're not going to let anyone bring you down. You're not going to let anyone tear you apart anymore. You have to be so strong that no one can knock you down to the ground again. And I mean, I feel like that's easier said than done because breakups suck, but you have to, you can't give so much control away anymore. That's kind of what I'm feeling is take a lot of your control back. Don't give your control away too fast. It's kind of the message that I'm picking up today because that's, that's what left you in that predicament before, you know, of being so just so out of place, so distance and not just from other people but you've been so distanced from yourself you know not really listening to what your body needs your mind needs right but at the end of all of this guys like today looks like you know with that fast action fast action ugh, fast action coming through the the falling in love the moving forward you know this person's in their head but you know the communication thing, I think that's going to float away soon. They're going to realize what they've lost or they're going to realize what they have and they're going to fight for it, you know, but you have to protect yourself. There's going to be nine of cups, reasons to celebrate. You're going to be happy. You know, you just have the courage. To, you have to have the courage to continue to move through this. You know, you are going to know if this is right for you or if it's not going to be for you. You will figure that out. I truly believe that. So with that, we're going to read your Oracle card to end this reading. I am getting from the secret language color decks one of my new decks love it so it's actually interesting because today says azure and it says protect yourself azure purifies your aurora and strengthens your connection to the divine leading you to discover your truth and empowering you to make important life just blah make important life choices immerse yourself with azure's rays to protect yourself from negativity dense energies and to find your center Breathe in azure rays of light to feel safe and secure, imagining an azure bubble of light that surrounds and protects you. Say, I ask divine healing light to surround me with love, peace, and healing. Please bar any dense energy from entering my space and affecting me. Thank you. Do this for yourself and your loved ones whenever you would like some added protection. Lots about protecting yourself. <laughs> Pretty much. You know, don't, don't take no shit. Don't just know shit. Just enjoy. Like, really enjoy April. I feel like good things are happening to us for April. So I'm going to leave that there. I hope you guys have a fantastic second day of April. And let me know how this reading was. Let me know how it resonates. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys again.